question that I get asked is, you know, when would you use lipoaspirate prolotherapy versus other types of prolotherapy? I think people got to realize the most important factor is where and who's doing the prolotherapy. Like in other words, where is the prolotherapy given? That's the most important factor. So you, the prolotherapy has to be given where the injury is, the actual structures that are causing the joint instability or the joint degeneration or whatever is causing the pain. That's number one. Two is who's doing it. Because who's doing it, that person would have the knowledge of what solutions to use, you know, which kind of prolotherapy is best. They're not going to be conservative. They're going to be aggressive. Because just by definition, a person, even watching this video, it means whatever you're doing is not working. So, so in other words, the normal things didn't work, so it means that the situation is very serious. You know, the injury is very serious to the point where the traditional treatments aren't working. So the person has to be aggressive, the prolotherapist has to be aggressive, and where they give the prolotherapy, that's the most important thing. Having said that, since I've been doing this since 1993 and probably treated around 20,000 patients, so it's a lot, a lot of patients, and I've given probably around 5 million prolotherapy injection injections. So it's like millions of prolotherapy injections. So that's a lot of experience. So when somebody has a very severe degenerative joint or they have a significant osteochondral defect, like a big chunk of like cartilage is missing, or their meniscus is almost gone, or it's an awful labral tear. It's just like you know, like just terrible, like really significant cases, then we'll think about doing some kind of stem cell prolotherapy, like bone marrow prolotherapy or lipoaspirate prolotherapy or combining the two. But for the average person that comes in that has a little bit of joint degeneration, you don't have to be spending thousands of dollars on some fancy dance thing. You literally could get dextrose prolotherapy a few hundred dollars and you're probably going to have a great response. So just encourage people where the prolotherapy is given is number one. Who's doing the prolotherapy? That's number two. And then obviously it'd be nice for the client to go to some doctor who has a lot of experience and knows all the different various types of prolotherapy solutions so they can choose the one that's best for them.